guys. Today I'm going to make some chicken vegetable soup in my slow cooker. So let's get cracking. This is a pretty simple recipe and it's a little different every time I do it. I just kind of happen to use what I have on hand. You can cut up fresh vegetables if you want, but like I said, I'm just using what I have right now. So I have uh, about two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These were $2.99 a pound. So this was $7.39 for those. I guess you could use breasts as well if you'd rather. And uh, about five potatoes, five breasts of potatoes I'm gonna cut up. Two pounds of frozen mixed vegetables. And uh, this is a 10 ounce bag of Baby Bella mushrooms. So those are washed and ready to go. For broth, I'm gonna use this Better Than Bouillon but you can also use bouillon cubes or those boxes of chicken stock or broth if you want. And um, then I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of granulated onion and some salt and pepper. So let me get the chicken cut up and the potatoes cut up and we'll get everything into the pot. All right, my chicken is washed and cut up. I cut it into you know, fairly big size pieces. It'll flake apart um, after it's cooked, so you don't really need to cut it too small. I just seasoned that with some salt and pepper. And I left my potatoes in fairly good sized chunks as well. And um, I'm going to put this whole, this is a two pound bag of frozen mixed vegetables. So I'll just dump that whole thing in there. And the whole bag of mushrooms. Now we just need our broth. If you've never seen this better than bouillon before, here's what it looks like. You're supposed to mix uh, one teaspoon with uh, eight ounces of water. So I have a quart of water in this pitcher here. So I'm just gonna dissolve that before I pour it in. Now we'll pour this broth in there. I don't think that's quite enough. I'm gonna mix up a little bit more. I mixed up two more cups. There we go, that looks better. That's six cups of liquid. Oh wait, I almost forgot my onion powder. So um, I'm gonna put a pretty good amount of this. Probably, I don't know, probably a couple tablespoons. I like onion powder, so uh, that looks pretty good. And then probably should add a little more salt and pepper as well, and then Probably have to add more at the end. Usually you have to taste it at the end and add a little more seasoning. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna uh, mix this up a little bit. Yeah, we'll get the lid on there and I'm gonna cook this on high until everything is tender. I'll let you guys know how long it takes. This has been cooking for five hours on high, so let's take a look here. See if these potatoes seem tender. Yeah, I think that that is probably done. Let me grab a bowl and we'll try it out. Let's see how this looks. I put a little green onion in there, gives it some color and some more flavor as well. Chicken's nice and tender. You can cut it with a spoon. Looks like the potatoes are tender. All right. Let's just grab a bite and see how it is. Turned out pretty good. And the taste test dog showed up. I know she'll eat the chicken. I wonder if she'll eat soup. I put a little, little bit in the bowl for her. Let's see if she'll eat the vegetables and all. Try it out, Annie. <laughs> it looks like she likes soup. Look at that. She ate it all. She ate every vegetable. <laughs> so that cooked for five hours on high. So I'd say on low, probably about seven or eight hours. And like I said, you can use any vegetables you want. You don't have to use those exact vegetables. But, uh, you know, just put your broth in there and add whatever vegetables you want. Anyway, I'll have soup for a few days. Thanks for watching. See you guys. I ate at this Vietnamese restaurant a couple weeks ago and I ordered this soup called pho and they give you bean sprouts to put in it on the side. So I bought some bean sprouts to add to this.